Apple intelligence understands you and is relevant to you. It's, it's not only world knowledge. All right, folks, since we're getting closer to the release of the new iPhone 16 and its AI features, I decided to bring you this video to recap everything cool we know so far about Apple's new AI features. Let's say that some of these features really pique my interest and I think they could be awesome if properly optimized, while others, well, let's just say they leave me a bit puzzled. So after the video, let me know in the comments what you guys think, which AI features caught your eye and which ones well, maybe let you down. First and foremost, here's the list of the iPhones that will get the iOS 18 upgrade once it's widely available. iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Plus, iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Plus, iPhone 14 Pro, iPhone 14 Pro Max, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Mini, iPhone 13 Pro, iPhone 13 Pro Max, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Mini, iPhone 12 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro Max, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, iPhone XR, iPhone SE second generation or later. Now, you may have noticed that the once iconic iPhone X didn't make the list and neither did older models like the iPhone 8 series. Uh, interesting, what do you make of that, folks? Any older iPhone users out there disappointed by this news? Now, let's have a look at what Apple is calling Apple Intelligence, because this isn't just a rebranding of Siri or a minor update, because it's a full-on overhaul of how AI is integrated across Apple's ecosystem. Picture this, your iPhone, iPad, and Mac all working together seamlessly, understanding your needs with a level of context and personalization that's honestly next level. And if you remember, Apple's been quietly building this up, and now it's set to roll out with some seriously powerful features. But what's really intriguing is how Apple is balancing this AI power with its trademark commitment to privacy. On device processing, folks, that means your data stays yours even with all these advanced capabilities. This brings us to Siri, because it seems that Apple's given it a serious boost with these new AI features. But I know what you're thinking. Siri's been around for a while, and we've seen it evolve bit by bit. But, you know, this time it seems that Apple has really gone under the hood to make some big, big changes. First off, Siri's natural language processing has been upgraded to the point where it feels like you're having a real conversation and not just barking commands at your phone. Imagine asking Siri to pull up that article you were reading last night and it just knows which one you mean, even if you only half remember the title. Basically, it's not just about understanding your words, but it's about understanding you. Then Siri can maintain context across multiple interactions. So if you're planning a trip, it can help you pick a destination or book a flight and even remind you to pack your charger all in one smooth flow. But here's where it gets even more interesting, folks, because Siri also got a brand new look. And when it's active, you'll see this sleek glowing light around the edge of your screen, which is, I guess, Apple's way of making the experience feel a little more human and a lot more modern. Yet another cool thing, uh, although this does take a little bit of time, if you prefer typing to talking, Siri's finally got you covered here too, and you can switch between voice and text without missing a beat, which is perfect for those moments when you know you need to be discreet. Now guys, here's something that really caught my attention, because Siri can now take actions based on what's on your screen. So let's say a friend texts you their new address and instead of copying and pasting it into your contacts, you can just tell Siri, add this to John's contact and boom, it's done. It wouldn't surprise me if it's these little things that make a big difference over time and how seamless your day-to-day -day tasks can become and with hundreds of new actions that Siri can handle across Apple and third-party apps, it's clear that Apple's aiming to make Siri your go-to assistant for just about everything. But you know what, folks, as exciting as this all sounds, I can't help but wonder, will it live up to the hype? Or will we still find ourselves repeating commands until Siri finally gets it? Well, only time will tell. But as always, I'm interested to hear what your take on this is.
Now, folks, moving on to something that's both fun and um, I would actually say practical. Let's talk about Genmoji and the new image tools Apple's rolling out. So here's the deal, because with Gemoji, you can now create these hyper-personalized emojis based on a photo or even just a description. Basically, imagine typing in smiley with sunglasses chilling on the beach and bam, your Gemoji is ready to go and capture that exact vibe. Then Apple's also taken the Photos app up a notch because now you can search your photos using natural language like um, find that picture of my dog playing in the park and it'll pull it up in seconds. Plus folks, the new cleanup tool is a strong feature. Basically, this tool can automatically remove those random photo bombers messing up your perfect shot while keeping everything else intact. And I think it's pretty cool. Then if you're into creating memory movies, Apple's got you covered because now you can just type a quick description like all the desserts I had last summer and watch as Apple Intelligence crafts a movie with your photos and videos complete with chapters and even music from Apple Music that matches the mood. Gotta confess, I'm not a memory movies kind of guy, but I can't help but admit that's a really, really cool feature. I mean, it's like having a personal editor in your pocket. But the catch here, I think, is that while these features sound cool, it all comes down to how smoothly they actually work in real life. Now, let's shift gear and talk about how Apple's AI is stepping into the productivity game, folks. Because if you're like me, you probably spend a lot of time managing emails, taking notes, and that sort of thing. And, well, I guess Apple Intelligence is here to help with that. First up, let's talk about the Mail app. Imagine having your emails rewritten on the fly to match different tones, whether you need something more formal for work or maybe a bit more cash when you're chatting with friends. Apple Intelligence can handle that, and if you're catching up on your inbox after, let's say, a very busy day, it can even summarize those long-winded emails for you so you get the gist without having to read every single word. Then the Notes app has also gotten a serious upgrade and it's pretty cool as well because you can now solve math problems directly in your notes or if you're more of a visual thinker, you can convert your rough sketches into polished AI-generated art. And here's a feature that's a real standout for me. You can dump text from another app right into your notes and Siri can even help you do that. And speaking of smooth folks, let's not forget about the new notification management because with the reduce interruptions focus mode, your device will only show you the notifications that matter most, like time sensitive alerts or messages from important contacts. My take is that some of these little tweaks can make a very big difference because they can help you stay focused on what's important without getting sidetracked by every single ping. All right, folks, let's just get this out of the way. As impressive as these features sound, the real question is how well they integrate into our daily routines. I mean, will they make us more productive or will they just add another layer of complexity? I'm curious to see how this plays out, especially with Apple's track record of making things both powerful and user-friendly. And I know that could be a bad take, but let me know in the comments below. Now, guys, let's talk about something that's been a cornerstone of Apple's brand for years, privacy. Because, you know, with all these powerful new AI features, you might be wondering, what about my data? Well, it seems that Apple's got you covered, uh, hopefully. According to Apple, they're doubling down on privacy with a focus on on-device processing. So what does this mean? Simply put, most of the AI tasks your device is handling, uh, whether it's generating Genmojis, editing your photos, or even helping Siri understand you better, are all done right there on your device. In other words, this data isn't being shipped off to some distant server farm because it stays with you, and this is significant, especially when you consider how much personal information our devices hold these days. But, and this really caught my eye, it seems like Apple didn't stop there because for those tasks that require a bit more processing power, Apple introduced something called private cloud compute. And basically, this extends the privacy and security you're used to with your Apple devices into the cloud itself. 
It's like having the best of both worlds, the convenience of cloud processing without compromising on security, and your data is encrypted and processed in a way that even Apple can't peek into. Keeping your personal information just that, personal. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but how does it really work in practice? And that's a fair question. Apple's track record on privacy is uh, pretty solid, but with these AI features, I guess it's clear they're stepping into even more sensitive territory, and the real test will be in how seamless and secure these features feel when we're all using them day to day. That's it, folks. Let me know in the comments which features intrigued you the most and perhaps which ones disappointed you. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It would be immensely supportive. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.